we need a facility for our youngsters, we need a facility for our youth. This community centre, this centre, Islamic centre, is vital for us to continue the work that everybody's talked about. If we see recent events, we see what is happening in our community. We see individuals that are getting disenfranchised by our community. They are worried about their identity. Who am I? Am I a Pakistani British? Am I a Muslim Pakistani British? What am I? Am I a Arab British Muslim? Who am I? What is my identity here? This solution to these problems is through education and providing the right kind of platform for individuals to give them the right confidence. We hope in this center, through this facility, we will provide youngsters the pathway, the education, the confidence, the esteem to go forward in society to declare themselves as Muslims, as strong Muslims, and providing their own identity and being able to say, I am a Muslim, but whatever occurs in the world in the name of terrorism is not something which is in my name, it is not in my faith. And be able to stand and talk to others confidently about what their faith means to them and be able to describe their faith confidently. So this work that we do today, that we start with your du'as, with your support, is going to be fundamentally important to ensuring that we have youngsters that are confident and that can participate and integrate in our society going forward. So that's all I need to say, but I need, we need all of your support. This is not the work of two, three, four, or 20 or 30 people. We have over 10 to 12,000 Muslims within Watford. Every one of you is needed to support us. I would like to ask you, go back to your family members, go back to your friends, Go back to people outside this town and say, we are building a very important facility here. Help us, donate to us, give us the money so that we can build this platform. And I hope in other centers, other towns, they will build facilities like this, which have the vision to deliver something for the youngsters, the elderly and the sisters, which are vitally needed in order to help them understand what their identity is. So that's all I would like to say to you, but we need your support. This is not my work, this is not Brother Imran's work, this is not Brother Zaid's work, this is not Haji Mani's work, this is our work together. Every one of you, each one of you is that's here, is vital to making sure this happens. The money we have raised wasn't my money, it wasn't Imran's money, it wasn't Zaid's money, it was given to us by community members, it was given to us by Waffle Borough Council, and this land has been given to us, donated to us in many ways, so it is, everybody needs to take a part in helping us get to the fruition we need to. So I don't want to take up too much more time, but please, my message to you, reach out to your friends. If 10 of you, if one of you talks to 10 people, we have over 200 people. That's, just look at the number, 200, about 2,000 people. Keep multiplying that, we will build a network to, inshallah, be able to build this center out. Mashallah. Thank you so much, Obertal, for the kind words and the uh, persuasive words that we must donate. I would now like to invite uh, Brother Nasir Jessa to the stage to say a few words. Uh, Nasir Jessa? Just here somewhere. Oh, it's the sunshine. It's just... who, who, who made the decision that I should speak? I was never told I'm, I'm going to be one of the speakers. So, I'll be very, very short. I know one person here, sober, who introduced me to this project. And I can tell you, the young man has worked so hard. He has climbed, what was it, Mount uh, uh, Stodio, Snodonia. Yeah, and, and he has been to every place to, to raise funds. Funds are very important for this particular center. I'm not going to say any more, but I would say <laughs> you make sure you and your friends donate to this project. It's a fantastic project. It's a project for the whole of Watford. I'm going to say one now, and I hope you will repeat after that. Ya Nabi Salaam Alaikum Ya Rasul Salaam Alaikum Ya Habib, Salam Alaikum, Salawatullah Alaikum. Repeat. Ya Nabi, Salam Alaikum, Ya Rasul, Salam Alaikum, Ya Habib, Salam Alaikum, Salawatullah Alaikum. 
I'll finish by thanking Richard, Dorothy. Dorothy, I've spoken to you about this, this particular project. I think it was about six years ago. And you people have been extremely helpful. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. I would like to also ask... Uh, Rabbi Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Salim Sheikh Saab, if you would like to please come and say a few words. Very wonderful man. Very lovely. Very kind, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Although I'm not from Watford, I'm outside Watford, but the project which, you know, I see now, I was just, drank, just you know, I was so interested to see when I was spoken, I was given the chance to just, you know, see what is going to happen for our young generations and all our youth. And I think this is a need for the time everywhere because we need to bring them back to the, all the legal system and everything. All our youth are, uh, you know, they are just going to stay. So this is a very good project and that's why I have just aligned myself with this. Hopefully, all of you who are here, local people as well, they will, uh, you know, cooperate and also appreciate this project and give all what they, they can to build this center very soon, inshallah. Salam alaikum. Our, our esteemed resident Imam and Qadi Saab, Qadi Bashir Saab, we would love for them to come and say a few words of spiritual support for us, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihim ladhi nastafa. Amma wa'adu fa'arudu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi r-rahman ar-rahim. Inna ad-deen inda Allahi li salam, sadaqallahu maulana al-azim, wa ballagana rasooluhu al-nabiyu al-kareem al-ameen. Hazrat, may our tamam ahbab, اس سنٹر کی افتتا کے موقع پہ یہاں جمع ہیں اور تمام احباب اس میں شامل ہونے کے لیے یہاں جمع ہیں اللہ تبارک و تعالی تمام کا آنا جانا قبول فرمائے تو میں نے آپ کے سامنے آیہ کریمہ تلاوت کی ہے جس میں اللہ کے نہیں فرماتا ان الدین عند اللہ علیہ السلام فرمایا کہ اگر کوئی دین ہے تو وہ اسلام ہی ہے تو ہم سے پہلے جو لوگ یہاں آئے تھے تو وہ بتاتے ہیں کہ بھئی جب ہم آئے تھے تو اس وقت حالت یہ تھی کہ اسلام کا صرف تصور ہی تھا باقی کوئی چیز یہاں میسر نہیں تھی نہ عید کا پتہ نہ رمضان کا پتہ نہ نماز کا پتہ نہ روزے کا پتہ کوئی بھی چیز کسی کے ذہن میں نہیں تھی اور دوسرا یہ لوگ بھی سمجھتے تھے کہ شاید یہاں اسلام نہ آئے لیکن یہ اسلام کی اپنا ایک طاقت ہے ایک پاور ہے اسلام کی کہ اسلام ہر جگہ پہنچتا ہے اور اپنا آپ بنواتا ہے اب یہاں یہ سنٹر جو ہے یہ بن رہا ہے مسلمانوں کے لیے اور دوسری اقوام بھی شامل ہوں گی لیکن اب دیکھتے ہیں کہ یہ اسلام کی طاقت ہے یہ چھوٹا سا ایک شہر ہے وٹپورٹ دو مساجد ہیں اور یہ تیسری جگہ بن رہی ہے اور اس کے علاوہ اور بھی لوگ کام کر رہے ہیں تو یہ اسلام کی برکت ہے اب ہمارا یہ ذمہ ہے کہ ہم اسلام کی ترویج کے لیے کوشش کریں یہ نہیں ہے کہ کوئی سنٹر بن گیا جمع ہوئے فوٹو کچھوائی اور جناب چل گئے نہیں بلکہ اسلام پہ مسلمانوں کو عمل کرنا جو ہے یہ ضروری بات ہے آج اگر ہم مسلمان باعمل ہو جائیں اور اسلام پہ عمل کرنا شروع کر دیں تو یہ جتنی بھی اقوام ہیں یہ کسر سے جو ہے یہ اسلام کے اندر داخل ہوں گی لیکن ہمارا معاملہ یہ ہے کہ ہم اس ملک میں بھی دوسرے ممالک میں بھی 
اور وہ کام کرتے ہیں جو کہ مسلمان کو کرنا نہیں چاہیے کہ ان کے ساتھ بیٹھ کر ڈرنکنگ کرنا اور یہ ساری چیزیں جو ہیں یہ اسلام کے مانا یا اسلام نے فرمائی ہیں تو اس لیے مسلمانوں کو چاہیے کہ اسلام کی ترویج کے لیے نماز باقاعدگی سے پڑھیں اور روزے باقاعدگی سے رکھیں اپنی ذاتی زندگی میں محافل میں اور ہر جگہ ایک مسلمان 